Hello everyone and welcome to the introduction to Temple OS. In this video I'm going to explain how to install the operating system by Ta Terry Davis and a few concepts that will be important to understand. So there are two pieces of software that we need to use before we can get started with Temple OS. And and to make sure that we're using this software correctly, I need to explain a few concepts. The first and major concept is virtualization. And virtualization, all that is, is a process for taking the hardware on your computer and splitting it up so that multiple what are called virtual machines can be run. And each virtual machine can have its own operating system and run its own apps and do separate things. So we're gonna have like a distributed a computer network uh, we're gonna have a bunch of operating systems running on one machine and to help explain this concept I have hired the spy kids to break out some Google images for me here on the left side we can see a traditional setup with your operating system running on the hardware and we're running applications on the operating system we're just gonna take that little setup and containerize it and manage it with a hypervisor and so these operating systems we can run windows and we can run temple os so we need to install a hypervisor and a really good hypervisor is virtualbox by oracle you can install it here on their website while that's installing you can be sure to pick up the temple os iso which we're going to run inside of virtualbox in our hypervisor so if you just try and skip ahead and do this, it, you might get this error. It'll tell you basically that your computer has not enabled a hypervisor. Before we can run this ISO and set up an operating system, we need to make sure that our computer is enabled for SVM mode. And SVM mode, that's our virtualization mode. To check if you're enabled for that, you want to uh, press Control alt delete and get your task manager up. Click more details and then go to the top here at performance and make sure you select your CPU and you should see your CPU options here. Uh, you can see that it, it says it's disabled. So I have to go and enable it. To go and enable it, all you have to do is reset your PC. I had to take pictures for this part, but reset your PC and press F2 or delete, um, it might say uh, on your computer. It's, unfortunately, this part is gonna be different for everybody, but if you press F2 and go into your CPU settings, uh, mine was in SVM mode, I enabled it. Just make sure it's enabled under CPU settings and then reboot your computer. And once SVM mode is enabled, we can actually open up VirtualBox and start uh, opening Temple, Temple OS. So we want to click new and we're going to name this new operating system. I just called mine Temple OS. You might want to call yours Temple OS 1 if you're going to run multiple instances. And the type is going to be other. You want to click other and then other, other. Uh, basically other unknown. Yes. And click next. So Temple OS requires minimum 512 uh, MB's memory so I just gave it uh, 2000 just to be sure and click next and you do want a hard disk so that we can save data and you're gonna want this first option here this is just the type of hard disk and you're gonna want to dynamically allocate it so that it doesn't reserve uh, two gigabytes I, I, I gave it two gigabytes that's uh, more than enough um, give it a however much you want it but probably one or two gigabytes is all that you're gonna need so click start and it's gonna boot up for the first time this is where you're going to want to select your distribution uh, the ISO distro the, you can click add here select it I already have mine selected that's the startup disk it's saved as a dot ISO so this is what Temple OS looks like. You can click X out of those little pop-ups for VirtualBox. And if you click in to Temple OS, 
uh, th this little pop-up, all that's telling you is that if you want to click back out, you can use right control. And so to install, yep, we want to install to the hard drive. And here we go. It's just doing some installation. You don't have to worry too much about the dialogue on this screen. Uh, just pay attention to the bottom left here. And once it's done installing, it'll say, do you want to reboot now? We actually do not want to reboot. Uh, you can check a, take a look at the tour now if you want, but there is one more thing that we need to do to make sure that this is set up correctly. So we're just going to come out of uh, Temple OS. This is just the tour, but we were going to want to X out of Temple OS, go to our settings, go over to, I believe, yes, it's the storage section. And once we get to the storage section, what we're going to want to do is remove the ISO so we're not booting from the disk anymore. Uh, we're going to want to boot to the hard drive, our C drive, and when we boot up Temple OS again, uh, we, we boot from the C drive and our installation is there, all our data is here. So that's how you install Temple OS on a hypervisor. If you liked the video, please subscribe, check out the website churchofaichrist.com, go in peace. Thank you.